for, for shooting. Now there, there are some amazing parts all over, but uh, but that was just stunning, absolutely stunning. So I highly recommend Austria. <laughs> Yeah, this will be a good matchup. Again, Calvin Smock in the box, former world champion. He's, uh, does a lot for archery. He's uh, always giving some back to the community, so it's good to see. is key really important to know what it is you're going to do before you do it visualize the shot make sure you know exactly what you're going to do when you get up there It's, a, it's it's tough when you're up there at full draw. You've got to try and be so focused. You drown out the crowd completely, and and just uh, just focus on exactly what it is that you need to do. Well, we're waiting for the score to come in for Cola. Well, there we have it. It starts off with a ten, and uh, I mean the crowd were very excited difference in uh, the amount of time these athletes take to shoot though jim it, yeah compared to something like the compound which we're going to see later in the bear bow it, it is a it is a quicker discipline it's uh you know it varies from you know some people have like a three four uh shot cycle, second shot cycle some people are up to about 10 seconds it, it, it really does vary it, it depends on the method of shooting you're using it depends on Oh, there's so many variables, but but this sort of class does tend to sort of be a little bit quicker than sort of what you might be used to with compound archers that that do take a while. Nothing against compound archers, <laughs> but they do. It, it seems to be a generous amount of time given for shooting as well. I mean, they they're viewing uh, the target uh, before they step up to, uh, in inverted commas, the shooting line. As you see, they're now stepping yeah. up, from, but. It's a peg in this competition. There's a peg in the ground. You stand either side of the peg. It's uh, not quite as formal as you uh, would normally find on a at a competition, a target competition. Five for Cos. Five for so steel trick more for Italy. Well, while we uh, look at that second target, I can tell you that Nicola Cos's so, first five, target five. was marked up from a ten to an eleven. That's uh, that's that's never a bad thing when it's you. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's a... No, that's uh, that's 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 nice. He's uh, he's off to a very strong start there. Yeah, and a couple of fives uh, in the, on the second target. So it's a, a big six-point lead, as you can see, for the Italian. After those uh, pesky squirrels again. Judging by the way they keep looking at the target and looking back, I'm, I'm not entirely convinced the kill zones where where it automatically feels like it should be, but that's why you have the uh, that's why you have the the cheat sheet. So the 
much right now. Oof. Ooh. A couple of really nice shots there. Very nice indeed. We still wait for the confirmation of the scores. Both very close to the center of the target. And it looks like it's another 11 for Koss. And a better shot from Reynas, but only an 8. So uh, 27 Ooh. playing 18. That's a, that's a doozy. Can Koss keep his composure long enough to just to put in a good quality arrow, hit that target, and do his nation yeah, proud again? Just the one arrow left, and again, we're in a situation where Reynas needs a good shot and needs a mistake from his opponent. Bronze medal about to be decided with these two arrows. Oh, I think, well, I think he's done it. I think he's done it. Reynas shooting an 11 with his last arrow provisionally, uh, but it wasn't enough because Nicola Kos has scored an eight and claims the World Championship bronze medal in the traditional men's category.